St. Louis was an ocean liner from the HAPAC, a German company who left the country in May 13, 1939 at 8 p.m. with over 900 Jewish refugees. All these refugees, they have permit of disembark in Havana. When the boat arrived in Havana two weeks later, they denied the permit of disembark and they started negotiating with the Cuban government for a week. After a week, they have to leave the country. They get close to the United States and close to Miami, the President Roosevelt denied the entrance to all these passengers. At the same time, Canada, they tried to go to Canada and Prime Minister Mackenzie denied the entrance to them. In the middle of the ocean, when they were back to Germany, the captain and the committee of help of the refugee from America, they got that uh, Holland, Belgium, France and Great Britain received all the passengers. And what happened later, uh, Hitler took all continental Europe and they were sent all of them to concentration camp. Only the around 300 refugees who went to Great Britain survived the war. The rest, most of them, they were killed in Auschwitz. The St. Louis is the base of the German girl. And I remember when I was like 10 years old that my grandmother, I'm Cuban, I grew up in Cuba, my grandmother She's a Spanish, uh, she's the daughter of a Spanish immigrant and she was pregnant with my mom when the St. Louis arrived in Havana. And I remember growing up during the 70s and 80s in Cuba and my grandmother telling me that Cuba is going to pay as a nation very dearly because what they did to the Jewish refugees. I grew up with this story all my life and I decided to write my novel based on the St. Louis. We have a huge problem with the others, with the people who are different than us. And we are afraid of people who have a different skin color, who have a different God, or believe in different God, or have a different sexual orientation. We are always afraid of the other. And I think this is the connection that I see with the Holocaust, with 9-11, with the, all the refugee crisis that we have between the right and the left. We are always afraid of the other, and we have to accept that we are human beings, and we are almost the same, but we are really, really different. And when we accept these differences, I think the world is going to be better. I can read, I read in every place, but I think I need my, my private space. This is not a book. This is a book that you can have it on a plane, on, on the beach, but I always recommend to be yourself with the book because it's emotional, I think, and you need your, your privacy when you're reading the book. <laughs> if I have to choose a, ce a celebrity, I think I choose, I see Charlotte Rampling, and because we were talking, I have a producer right now working, interested in the German girl to do a series. And we were talking about how Charlotte Rampling could be the perfect Hannah in Cuba. And if I have the book, I have to dedicate it to her. I said, you are Hannah. <laughs>